last year, I lost my beautiful cat, Hope. I've had her for maybe 16 or 17 years, and she passed away in November. I guess that was two years ago. And so last summer, I got my beautiful puppy, Faith. I thought to myself, maybe I should try something different. Maybe I can have a pet where they can spend more time with me, somebody to go walking with me, someone to go to the park with me. And so I got my little fur baby, Faith. Most mornings, I try to clean up whatever I didn't clean up the night before because it's never too late to start off clean. And of course, you know the routine, coffee. I do want to start a new routine of drinking water, but I'm not quite there yet. So lately, I just wake up whenever I feel like waking up, but most of the times it's, it got a little bit later and I don't know what's going on. I wake up around 8.30 most of the times. And so I make my coffee, and that's very beneficial for me. It's just relaxing, something that I can depend on, something that I know that's just going to calm me down, just make me feel like I'm ready for the day. It's just something I enjoy. I love coffee. Coffee is just amazing for me. And this time, I got a little fancy and I got whipped cream. I don't always use whipped cream, but, but I um, try to have it on hand. And so last night, me and the husband, I think we watched a movie, so there's like blankets everywhere and everything like that. And so I was just like, let me go ahead and clean this up because I want to have a clean environment. If I'm going to start my day, let me just go ahead and reset the living room. Even though I didn't do it last night, I could still do it. It's never too late to change, you know. It's never too late to make changes that you want. So that's what I did, just straighten up the couch and get everything in order before I start my day. And Faith is just watching me, not doing anything. Ah, the funny thing is, she loves that yoga mat. And my sweet cat, Hope, she loved the yoga mat too. So I don't know, it just brings me a little comfort to see that both of my pets love the yoga mat just as much as I do and they find like comfort in it. And so finally I got my coffee and I was like, you know what, I haven't read Genesis in a while and I wish I could say that I read the Bible every day. I brought it and I'm just not doing it. I know, I'm sorry. I just, I'm just not there yet. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm working on Genesis. And yeah, look at Faith still watching me. She's just relaxing. Like she gets really relaxed in the morning as well. So yeah. Basically, she's probably just waiting for me to take her outside. She's very spoiled. Look at all her toys. So look at her stretching. I try to keep my mornings just relaxing. Most of the time, the time goes to me making coffee and then having to play with Faith and, you know, give her her entertainment. She likes to play with the ball. She wants to just play. And that's part of our morning routine for the last year. And She'll actually bring the ball to me if I don't play with her. She'll kind of remind me like, hey, you're supposed to play with me. So yeah, um, yeah, me and Faith will just play. She's been very therapeutic for me. Play, you let me play. You let me play. You let me play. Oh my God, what? What are you doing? Bring me the ball, bring me the ball. You gotta give it to me. I don't know if this is a good thing or a sad thing, but I never grew up with toys as a child. I probably had a few toys, but I didn't have a lot. I do know that. One thing about my family is they're very minimalistic, so I grew up kind of like a minimalistic person. So if I did have toys, it would probably just be one Barbie, one car one airplane literally we could have like maybe two toys max but most of the times my childhood was just playing outside so my husband he brought faith all these toys and all this stuff and I mean she loves it so basically she's basically gonna be like my husband liking to have a lot of stuff <laughs> So yeah, I had to go ahead and put the dishes up. That's just how the morning routine goes. And Good morning, you guys. Hey, how are you doing? It's me, Nadia. So today is going to be a spring theme. I am so excited to share that with you guys. So today, what I have on the agenda is I want to make my spring simmer pot. 
So I have the lemons, I have the roses, I have the lemon, I have the roses. What else do I need to get? Lemon, roses, I have the rosemary, I have the mint, but it's said to put um, some lavender oil or essential oils. I don't have any essential oils. They also, some of the other recipes were saying to put dried lavender. You guys, I have no idea where to find dried lavender. So, I don't know. I'll probably just get the essential oil, like lavender at like Kohl's or something like that, because I think they have, they have essential oils there. And then I'm going to make a mocktail. So if that sounds interesting with you, just come on and hang out with me. We're gonna have a cute little uh, spring morning, spring day. I actually have to leave right now. My friend, I called her to see how she was doing and she happens to be down the street um, getting her hair done. Well, not down the street, like 10 minutes down the road getting her hair done. So um, I'm gonna go see her and then maybe while I'm out there, I'll go ahead and get the lavender and the essential oil and then we'll come back and we'll just kind of hang out for the day. I haven't ate breakfast yet. So when I come back, I'm probably gonna make myself an egg sandwich, nothing fancy. And then once I make my egg sandwich, I'll probably um, maybe make my mocktail or something. The weather's gonna be 60 degrees today. So we might go to the park. I don't know, I just wanna just, you know, whatever. So might go to the park. Ooh, you know it'd be nice if I drink my cute little mocktail at the park and then bring a book. And lately, this is the book that I've been kinda into. It's called Unfortunately Yours. I don't know if I talked to you guys about it already, but it's basic, basically about this girl and this guy. He's like, you know, kind of rough around the edges and she's kind of like a, you know, upper higher class, richy, ditzy girl. And she, her family owns a wine, wine vineyard and she tests out wine, she tests his wine. And this guy, he's trying to open up a wine vineyard, but, um, his wine is disgusting. And she kind of like told him, she was kind of straightforward and was like, she like spit it out and she was like, this is disgusting. But anyways, he's like very attracted to her, but they, but he doesn't like her as a person or her personality. And he doesn't think that she would ever want to be with him anyways, because he's more like rough around the edges and he doesn't come from money. And she's like a little, she's more like a princess type woman and she's rich and she comes from money. So even though he can't help how attracted he is to her, um, he doesn't even, he, he's attracted to her, he, but he doesn't think they'll actually ever be together. But she's starting to show little signs that she's kind of interested in him. It's like this love-hate relationship in the beginning of the chapters, but... It says, unfortunately, yours, so I'm assuming that they're going to get married, but I don't know. All right, you guys, let me go ahead and go to my friend's house, and I'll see you guys later, okay? Say hi, say, say hi. And this is Miss Faith. Everybody knows Miss Faith. Say hi to everybody. I have to leave you, baby. I'll be back, I promise. You going to take a nap while I'm gone? Why are you looking like I'm holding you hostage? Are you going to take a nap while I'm gone? Isn't she just so pretty? We look alike, don't we? I look like you, you look like me. Is she my baby? Hello you guys, so I'm back. And... Just came back from lunch and with my friend and we kind of just hung out. So I want to make this strawberry cucumber. It's on the Pinterest, you know, all my stuff that I like, whatever. So I want to make this strawberry cucumber mojito mocktail. So I got some of the stuff yesterday. So here goes. I need a cup, I need a cup. Anyways. Faith needs to go outside. Say mama. Say hi. Say hi to everybody. She was by herself for a couple hours. You need to go outside? You need to go outside? I'm gonna take you to the park. But first we're gonna go outside. Okay. Yes, my girl. What are you looking at? What are you so happy for? What's going on? Huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? 
What's she doing? Oh my god. Oh my god. You're excited. Okay. That's not the way they teach it, no. Because they want you to put this, once you get them in the jar, they want you to put them in a canner and Wait, so let you, them boil. So I've never can't, so you buy a whole bunch of tomatoes? I buy a bushel of tomatoes. Tomatoes, okay. You put your tomatoes in the sink. In the sink. Put your stopper in the sink to hold the water. Boil you some hot water. You pull, pour it over those tomatoes and let it set. And I take a knife and sort of poke the tomatoes because that starts the peeling to peel off the tomatoes, the skin. Okay. It starts the skin. To oh, the reason why you put it in the sinks because you can't just boil it. You, if you want to boil hot water and put it in, you can and take them out. You can, but it's easier to put the tomatoes in the sink or the hot water over the tomatoes. Because you have more. And then you just take your knife, you take out the core, take that out, throw it away. You peel the tomato, throw the peelings away. And then you can quarter them and put them over in another pan. Uh -huh. Once you get that pan full of tomatoes, then you put those on the stove eye and you get those tomatoes boiling and you let them boil about three to five minutes. Okay. Then you take them off and in your uh, pint jars, you will add a half teaspoon of lemon juice, half teaspoon of lemon juice, half teaspoon of um, salt, salt, and then you put those hot tomatoes in there. Get your lids and this boiling hot. Take them out and you put this lid on, dry them off. Mm -hmm. Put the lid on and then tighten this. Get oh, very, very tight. So there's just a little lemon, that's it? Lemon salt, that's it? It's a half teaspoon of lemon juice, half teaspoon of salt for a pint. Okay. And for a quart, it's a teaspoon of each. But you just put that in there. And, uh, You're being recorded. Say hi to the people. Oh. <laughs> And she then, knows. And I then I turn them upside down like this. So I make sure that heat seals that piece of rubber.
量。